Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to make this festive New Year's celebration card. Create a new document by pressing Ctrl N on Windows or Command N on a Mac. This document is 1550 pixels wide and 940 pixels high. It has a resolution of 150 pixels per inch. Fill your document with black by pressing Shift and the F5 key. Choose black and click OK. Open your horizontal type tool and choose a thick sans serif font. I'm using Bebas New. If you'd like to use it, I provided its link in the video's description or project files. Choose a relatively large font size, sharp, and left alignment. Click on the color box and pick white. Type out the number 2 and click on your move tool. We'll make three copies of the number to make a total of four layers. Press Ctrl or Command J three times. Click on the second layer, go to the number, and press and hold Shift as you drag it to the right. Pressing Shift keeps it aligned. Click on the third layer, go to the number on the left, press and hold Shift, and drag it to the right. Repeat this for the last number. Double click on the layer to highlight the number, click on the color box, and pick a color. I'm picking a hot pink, F000FF. After you pick your color, click OK or press Enter or Return. Double click on the third layer, click on the color box, and pick another color. I'm picking a bright green, 0FD700. Continue these steps to pick your colors for the other numbers. Next, we'll edit the numbers to reflect the upcoming year. Click on the second layer, highlight the number, and type in 0. Or, a quicker way to highlight the number is to simply double-click the layer. Type in 1 and double-click on the last numbered layer. Type in the last digit. Go to the top layer and shift-click on it to highlight all the numbers. Change the blend mode to linear dodge. Make the second layer active and open your move tool. Go to the zero and press and hold shift as you drag it to the right overlapping the number two. Repeat these steps for the other numbers. Next, we'll resize the year to the edges of the document. Shift click on the top layer to highlight all the text. Open your transform tool by pressing Ctrl or Command T. Go to View and make sure Snap is checked. If it isn't, just click on it. Click inside the transform and move it to the upper left corner until it snaps in place. Go to the lower right corner of the transform and when you see a diagonal double arrow, drag it to the lower right corner of your document until it snaps in place. Then press Enter or Return. Notice the text hasn't lost any sharpness when we enlarged it. This is because type layers are vector-based, which means they can be scaled and edited without a loss in quality. Click on the icon at the upper right corner of the Layers panel and choose Convert to Smart Object. The reason we're doing this is because it allows us to change or modify the text whenever we want and it'll instantly update the final graphic with the new text. I'll show you the example later. Click on the New Layer icon to make a new layer. We'll fill it with white by pressing Alt or Option plus Delete. This fills it with a foreground color which is white. Double click on the thumbnail of the layer to open its layer style window. Click Pattern Overlay and open the thumbnails. Click on the gear icon and choose Patterns. Click OK to replace the existing patterns with the new patterns we just picked. I'll choose this one and click OK. We'll fuse the pattern overlay with the layer itself by either making it into a smart object or in this case going to Layer, Rasterize, 
and layer style. Change the blend mode to multiply. We're ready to add the rest of your text. Open your type tool, click on center alignment, and pick a font. I'm choosing Genesu. I provided its link if you'd like to use it. For this font, I'll make its size 130 points and the color is white. Type out your text and click on your move tool. Click on the FX icon and choose outer glow. Click on the color box and pick black. Change the blend mode to dissolve. Make the opacity 100%, the spread 35%, and the size 16 pixels. Depending on the size of your font, you may want to adjust these amounts. Make a copy of the text to make a second line. Drag the copy down and press T to open your type tool. Highlight the text, reduce its size, and type out your text. Go to the top layer and double click on Outer Glow to see it in the Layer Style window. I'll change the spread to 47% and the size 9 pixels. Again, feel free to adjust these amounts. To center both lines of text on your document, shift click on the second layer, click on your Move tool, and press Ctrl or Command A. Click on the Align Horizontal Centers icon. To delete the selection, press Ctrl or Command D. I'd like to slide this line of text down, so I'll click on the layer to make it active, and press and hold Shift and drag it down. Next, I'll show you how to quickly change the numbers of the year. Double click on the Year layer, and if you see this message, click OK. The document will open as a smart object. Press T to open your type tool. For this example, I'll change the 4 to a 5. So, I'll highlight the 4 and type in 5. I'd like to slide the 5 over to the right a little, so I'll click on my Move tool and drag the 5 to the right until I'm happy with the overlap. To snap the entire block of text to the edge on the right of the document, I'll highlight all the layers, open my Transform tool, go to the middle right point on the Transform tool, and drag it until it snaps in place. Then press Enter or Return. Click on the X on the tab of the Smart Object document to close it, and when this message appears, click Yes. Notice how the smart object updated the image with the new text. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.